Hallelujah. I pray we possess all your possession in the mighty name of Jesus. All that thing belongs to you by the power that is working upon this mountain. You will receive them in the mighty name of Jesus. You will take all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us gladly take our seat. You are welcome to business and life improvement service. As you have come to God's presence this morning, I pray your business and your life and everything that concerns you will get in. I have a divine improvement in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Before I go further this morning, I appreciate Almighty God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Creator of heaven and earth, for His grace upon this mountain. And also, I appreciate our Father in the Lord, our Daddy, the servant upon this commission. And I pray the anointing of God upon his life will be increasing continually in the mighty name of Jesus. God has chosen him to be a captain of this commission. I pray that he will drive us into a good destination in the mighty name of Jesus. And through him, this church will explode globally in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, I appreciate our pastors and workforce and our mommy, Deacon and Deaconess in the house and every one of us that had found time to come to the presence of God. As we know that we are in the month of possessing our possession, every of your possessions that are in the hand of your enemy you will possess them in the mighty name of Jesus Amen shall we pray Father in Jesus name authority of heaven and earth we appreciate you we thank you for this opportunity you have given unto us to be in your presence oh Lord we thank you for making us to be alive to this moment despite all that is happening in our country you still sustain us you sustain your church. Daddy will say, be right glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, here we are. We want to hear from you this morning. Father, speak to our life in the name of Jesus. The world that will transform our life, that will transform our business, that will bring a total turnaround to our life. Let it be speaking into our life this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Amen, amen, fire. Shout hallelujah. If you are happy to witness this moment, shout hallelujah. Amen. You are all blessed in Jesus' name. Briefly, this morning, the topic before me in this uh, business and life improvement service says how to build strong character to improve your life and your business how to build strong character to improve your life to improve your business to improve your marriage to improve your relationship and the Lord will help us in Jesus name I go further I said what is character I say character is who you are and what you do when none is watching you. That is the meaning I give to character. That character is whom you are, what you do when people are there or not, you are, or they are not there. When they are watching you or they are not watching you. What you exhibit either openly or secretly that is your character hallelujah and i say it is how you handle failure and success you know your character will determine how you will handle when failure comes or when success comes hallelujah when you get you have a good character 
when you fail in a certain area you will know how you will handle it in order to be restored back we are in the month of possession our possession you know the character we are talking about when you fail or you succeed your character will determine what you are going to do at that moment and if we will end well we need to be strong and biblical character in order for us to end well in the journey of life hallelujah for us to end well in our marriages a biblical and a strong character must be built for us to end well in our businesses a biblical and godly character must be built because the way you behave in your business will determine the numbers of the customer that will, that will be patronizing you hallelujah your behavior your character in your business we determine we determine the numbers of the customers that will be patronizing your business i pray god will grant you a good character in the mighty name of jesus god will deliver into your life a good character in the mighty name of jesus so in order for us to improve our business our family our marriage our relationship we need to be built a strong and a biblical character number one for you to build a strong and biblical character i said you must have a self discipline tell somebody have a self discipline a self discipline is very very important to our life in order for us to build a strong and biblical character we all know the story of daniel in that book of daniel chapter number one verse number eight daniel chapter number one verse number eight let's quickly go there daniel one verse number eight the book of daniel ha but daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defy himself with the portion of king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank before he requested of the chief of the inner that might not defy himself hallelujah you know daniel when you know in, in his heart you know he was taken to the king palace and in the king palace we all know what normally happens there hallelujah different kinds of food drinks different kinds of ladies you know we know what happened there but daniel he you know he purposed in his heart that he will never defy himself with all these kind of nonsenses hallelujah for you to build a godly and biblical character you need to propose it's a it's a personal decision hallelujah a personal decision you know the word of god told us he said we are in the world but we are not of the world hallelujah though we are in the system of this world but our our own system must different from the way the worldly people operate in their own system hallelujah we all know the system of this world you know some people they have you know telling lies is not a it's not a sin 
for so many people. They eat, they get their money, they get their wealth, they get everything through lies. Hallelujah. But, you know, we are in the same world. But as a Christian, the one that, the one that hearing the word of God, reading the word of God, you know, the one that has separated himself for Christ, we know we must not follow that kind of character. Hallelujah. Daniel purposely, you know, he purposed in his heart that all the food in the king's palace, that he will not use it to defy himself. So likewise, you and I that have accepted Lord Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior, we must do as Daniel did. Because it's one of the perfect examples for us to follow. As a Christ, as a Christ Jesus, a perfect example. He said, let the mind of Christ be inside of you. The same mind of Christ was in the heart of Daniel. Let that same mind be in us and the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Also, let's look at the book of 1 uh, Corinthians chapter number 20, uh, chapter number 9, verse number 27. 1 Corinthians 9, 27. Uh -huh. But I discipline my body and I bring it into subjection lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Amen. It is Paul that's talking here. You know, there are a lot of preachers today, teachers today say, whatever I tell you to do, do it. But don't do the way I'm doing. Have you not heard, heard it before? Hallelujah. But Paul is specifically telling them that but I discipline my body and I bring it into subjection let when I preach to others I myself should become disqualified what you are saying what you are doing what you are telling people to do please let them find you doing it what you are saying to people let people see you doing it maybe in your marriage in your business in every aspect of life all what you are teaching people over there let people see you doing it hallelujah you know in the scripture he said it is not the speaker of the word nor the hearer of the word but the, it is the doer that is what you are teaching them be the doer don't just teach it teach them and abandon it and begin to do otherwise hallelujah we must be the doer that is what paul is saying there all world is teaching them he said he must be the doer so that he will not be disqualified at the end of the day and that one will not be a portion in the mighty name of jesus what you are telling people let people see you doing it hallelujah either secret or openly because our god is everywhere hallelujah you cannot run from god there is no place no hidden place god is in everywhere what you are telling people to do let people see it that you too you are practicing it and the lord will help us in jesus name in order for us for our business to improve for our life to improve for our marriages to improve for our relationship to improve for everything that we lay our hand upon to improve what you are teaching people let people see you doing it hallelujah if you are telling people that telling lies is not good you too should not tell lies if you are telling people that ah uh, fornication and adultery it is abomination before God 
you too you should desist from doing it and the lord will help us in jesus name building godly character to improve our family our business that is what we are talking about and the holy spirit will help us in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah amen i wrote here i said this is the ability to do what is right even when you don't feel like doing it you know you know the place where daniel was you know in the king palace he failed to do whatever he likes but he purposed in his heart by ah all these things that they are doing that are not godly uh, i will not say uh, me to uh, uh, it is an opportunity for me let me let me use that opportunity hallelujah all opportunities are not opportunity oh. not all opportunities are opportunities hallelujah Sure, you know that not all opportunity are opportunities hallelujah you know it is an opportunity for joseph to sleep with his uh, master's wife is it not an opportunity it is an opportunity because it is his master's wife that deliberately asked him to do it not that joseph went to her, to her, to her. hallelujah but thank God that the Spirit of God is dwelling in the life of Joseph. And you see that ah, this opportunity, this is a nonsense opportunity. He now told her, he said, How should I do this nonsense thing? And sin against who? Against God. Hallelujah. I, I know most of our youth nowadays, if they are in that shoe, I pray God will help them in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. They will say, ah, opportunity, Lileo. If I do this, instead of uh, her giving me two meat, when I want to eat, my meat will become six or eight. Hallelujah. That is, you know, devil will just bring a hair, give them a, uh, be manipulating their, their senses. I I pray the Lord will deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. It's not every opportunity, opportunity. Daniel finds himself in a place that he will be enjoying life and nobody will be querying him. But he said, in his heart, he, 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 he took a, a, a rightful decision. But, ah, I will never defy myself with kings made and the lord will help us in the mighty name of jesus self-discipline very very important for our christianity journey self-discipline and the lord will help us in jesus name hallelujah the greatest victory Aha. i wrote i wrote here the first and the best victory is to conquer self The best to conquer, you know, victory is to conquer self. If you are passing through any challenges in your life, if you don't sit yourself down, say, ah, this challenge, I must, I must rise from it. Let me tell you, 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 you cannot. You. Hallelujah. Like my, uh, my own, when I was in the village, you know, in the village, those days, uh when you go to farm maybe you are doing the farming work we like to eat cola not very well there that is our best food when you go to farm during that time when i go to farm with my daddy my daddy would just carry a keg of water and we go along with cola not we eat cola not eat 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 and i have that cola not has become an addition to my life immediately i came to lagos in 1984 85 i said god please this cola nut i'll be eating cola nut in the village god from today i don't want to eat cola nut please god help me help me i don't want to eat cola nut glory be to god the date i have not i have never tasted cola nut you know 
that problem I conquer it within myself before it is finally conquered hallelujah if you are saying ah if you sit yourself and say ah this spirit of a greediness I, 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 I separate myself from you let me tell you before you know it it is gone it is by personal decision nobody will take that decision for you hallelujah Daniel took that decision that ah I will never defy myself with king meat and he stood over it and what he did you know God backed him up and by doing that he begins to do exploit you know can, can you imagine for somebody to have a dream dream that was you know you were not you didn't know the time that he was dreaming and he just called you to, ah language this is the dream that i had can you interpret it for me can you tell me the meaning can you know and by the help of the holy spirit you know god gave him the revelation of the dream of the king hallelujah self-discipline he helped us in the journey of this christendom and the lord will empower us with the self-discipline the spirit of self-discipline in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah also without self-discipline whatever talent or business a man has we never realize their maximum potential if you don't have self-discipline whatever business whatever relationship you know whatever gift whatever talent that god has given unto you if you lack that self-discipline you might not achieve it it might not be totally achieved and i pray that one will not be a portion in jesus name so therefore as a christian we have to allow self-discipline in this morning that we are and the lord will help us in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah so the first step to strong and godly character is conquering self the battle of self-discipline is won within not on the outside but within the battle is won is you know within not on outside not on outside hallelujah we all we know the story of that program uh, 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 son you know he just he sat himself down ah self you know if that battle is already won with you know within before he took a step ah let me go back my father if my father can even make me as one of his servant hallelujah with the battle is already won within not outside and the lord and the holy spirit will strengthen us in the mighty name of jesus so also with more integrity integrity and we've talked about Joseph in the book of uh, Genesis chapter number 39 verse 7 to 12 we all know the story there integrity Joseph was the man of integrity he said ah how can I, how can I do this and I see and sin against God yes? it came to pass after this thing that his master's wife cast longing eyes on Joseph and she said lie with me you know the woman gave her proposal it's not Joseph that gave her to give her he said what lie with me but he refused and said to his master wife look my master does not know what is 
with me in this house and he has committed all he has to my hand yeah verse number nine now ha there is no one greater in this house than i nor has he kept back anything from me but you he has not kept anything from me but you you because you are his wife how then can i do this great wickedness and sin against god hallelujah hmm. integrity integrity that is what helped joseph Aldimbin he had fallen into that tribe you know that covenant that god had made for his life but had not come to fulfillment that greatest highest that god is taking him to he might have not gotten there because of what one minute enjoyment hallelujah devil will not cheat us in jesus name say how can i do this and sin against god though what he did that he did that day you know they were his master wife was not happy he joseph got punished he was penalized but joseph did not care he know that god knows what he was passing through and god fought for him when you are a man of integrity even your enemy they gather and begin to plan any evil or want they want to do anything that that is not palatable to your uh, to your life god knows the way out hallelujah god knows the way out joseph believed and he knew that even though they took him to the prison they punished him they tormented him he, he, he still believed that uh -uh, the way out is in the hand of god and despite all the challenges god showed himself in his life hallelujah let us be the man or the woman of integrity hallelujah and that one can be done when we are rooted and we are we are we are grounded in the word of god that is the only solution hallelujah that is the only solution when we are well rooted in the word of god joseph was rooted in the word of god he know that surely the word of god the promises of god will surely come to fulfillment in his life and he waited upon him and he was not ashamed i pray as you too as you are waiting upon the lord you will not be ashamed in the mighty name of jesus we must be a, a, a man of integrity a woman of integrity and the lord will strengthen us in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah the component of godly character is in integrity which is an alignment of values thought feelings and action yes values your thought you know in the book of proverbs as a man thinketh, so he is what are your thoughts what are your values we shouldn't see what we are passing through just and begin to lose our value no don't lose your value because you are valuable in the hand of god hallelujah you are valuable in the hand of your creator don't lose your value don't lose your value we must be very very careful about our feelings and our action that is why we need the help of holy holy spirit always hallelujah the help of holy spirit 
is the one that can help us. We need him. Developing our business, our talent, our home without develop, uh, developing character lead to a dead end. When we are developing our business, our home, everything that concerns us, and we are not developing our character, it leads to dead end. That one will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Our character is very, very important. It's very, very important. Our character is very, very important. Let me tell you, your certificate, your knowledge, your skill that you acquire, they can take you to that high position. But what will make you to sustain that high position is your character. You will never go down in the mighty name of Jesus. Our character is very, very important. We must always try to develop it. We must train it. We must handle it. We must, we must guide it jealously. Because it is very, very important for our life. Hallelujah. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. If you want your business and your life, your relationship, and everything that concerns you to go far, you need to protect your character. Every day, every time, every hour, every second, every moment, every minute. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, one of the Yoruba parables, it says, Ifiniwa. Have you ever heard that uh, proverb before? Uh -huh. You cannot hide it. Let me tell you, you can't hide it. No matter how, one day, one day, it will show up. Hallelujah. It will do what? It will show up. That is why we need the help of Holy Spirit. We need the help of Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will not depart from our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Will not depart from our life in the name of Jesus. Your actions speak louder than your voice. Yeah. You know, that your character it will speak. No matter what. It will truly speak you. It will speak. Hallelujah. Your character will speak. You can't hide it. It will speak. That is why we need the word of God. He said, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. When you are you continually hearing the word of God, you know, it will be rebuilding your character. It will be amending your way. It will, be, it will bring adjustment. It will bring adjustment to your way. Hallelujah. But when you lack the word of God, ah, anything comes anything goes. That one will not be a portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our character is very, very important. Very, very important. Because of my time, uh, when a person died and they buried him, the day they are burying him, his character is not going to be buried. Am I right? Because every character that he has executed in his life, lifetime after the burial people will still remember and begin to talk about it is it not happening like that are you sure if they've done the burial all the character the behavior people will still you know they begin to hey, in his lifetime this is how he was behaving. This is, you know, they begin to talk about him. Our character is very, very important. When a man dies and is get buried, his character is not going to be buried along with him. It is it has been written down. Either uh, in the book or you know. Uh, it has been recorded. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the reason why we Christians, we need to exhibit good 
character. And that one can be done by the help of the word of God. That is why that book of Romans chapter number 12 from verse 1. Romans 12 verse number 1. He said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Uh, service. Verse number 2. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed. The only thing that can transform you is the word of God. Hallelujah. No any other thing. The word. It is the word of God that can transform us. So therefore, as a Christian, please, let us make the word of God our best friend. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. That is why the devil is just sitting us. You know, he will not allow you to even go to the world. Am I right? Because he knows that immediately you go to the world, ah, you will find your own there. Where you are missing it, you will get it back there. That is why he's using every strategy. The devil is using every strategy to stop us from going to the world continually. And from now, every bondage of devil is broken in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Because people that succeeded in the scripture, they cleaved to the word of God. Hallelujah. People that succeeded in the scripture and people that are succeeding in today, today, in our lifetime now, most of them, they, they, you know, they cleaved to the word of God. Hallelujah. Like what Baba used to say. Baba Yede could say, ah, this word, I will never leave it here. I die. Oh. That's what he used to preach it. Ah, this word. He said, he will, he will never leave it here. He died. Because the word has transformed his life. He has, you know, the word has made him, he has made him one of the Abraham, Abraham's son in our own lifetime. Am I communicating? When we are talking about Abraham's children, Baba is one of them all. Hallelujah. Because God told Abraham, he said, in blessing, I will bless you. And when you see that Baba today, ha, talking about blessing, God is blessing him all. One day he even said, he said, God, this blessing, stop it. It's not. And he said, God said, my son, if you are still obeying what I am asking you to do and you are, you are doing it, he said, we never stop that blessing. Hallelujah. He said, in as much that he is still following the instruction from the Holy Spirit, he said, that blessing will just be increasing. Likewise, me too, if you can obey the instruction of God and follow it into the letter and we don't despise it, that blessing will be increasing our life and so shall it be for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's quickly go into the book of Proverbs chapter number 13. Verse number 13. Proverbs 13, 13. He said, I need TLB. TLB version. TLB version. Proverbs 13, 13. TLB. Aha. No. TLB. If you don't have it, okay. That, that version, he said, he said, deviate from the word of God and you will be punished. That is what that version says. Deviate. Hallelujah. He said, whoever that did, uh -huh. what? <laughs> the one who has uh -huh, contempt for instruction we pay the penalty. Hallelujah. Oh. Please, don't deviate from instruction. Hallelujah. Uh 
Aha. Hallelujah. Aha. You see now. Aha. Despise God's word. You will not find yourself in trouble in Jesus' name. Please let us get rooted in a good character. When you have good character, you know the word of God, the instruction, you will follow it to the total. Hallelujah. He said, despise God's word. And you will suffer for it. You will not suffer in the mighty name of Jesus. That one will not be a portion in the name of Jesus. You know, God has given us the manual to follow. And when we refuse to follow that is manual, the person is going to suffer. We will not suffer in Jesus' name. When we begin to follow the manual, and we begin to follow and begin to do according to the manual, result is very, very achievable. Result is very, very achievable. But when we despise or we deviate from the manual, we suffer. Like uh, the examiner, when he set his question and he gives instruction, and immediately you deviate from the instruction, and you say that, ah, ah, all this question, I know everything. Let me answer all. Ah, what will happen to the, to the student? The, the examiner we, 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 you know, angrily, it will just, it will cancel everything. Hallelujah. Likewise, the word of God. When you deviate, when we, when, 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 when we despise it, due to our wrong character, the person is going to suffer for it. We will not suffer in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. He said, our character and choices and our character and choices and our sum total of our choices, our character today is a result of our choices yesterday. Our character tomorrow will be a result of our choices today. To change your character, change your choice. Hallelujah. What are those wrong choices have you made due to the wrong character that you are exhibiting? If you, if you can sit yourself down, you know, a battle of self is won within before it is won outside. You can sit yourself down. That is why the word of God said, we should examine ourselves whether we are still in the faith. We need self-examination. Hallelujah. We must sit down ourselves, sit ourselves, what are the characters that I am exhibiting that are not alignment with the word of God? We must sit ourselves down and think of it. Because nobody knows the day that Jesus will come. Do you know the day? Even when his disciples were asking him, he said, Sir, when the day that you are talking about, when that day, what is that day? He said, Let me tell you. The angels did not know it. It is only my Father in heaven that knows it. That was the response that Jesus gave to them that day. Hallelujah. Likewise, me and you, we don't know the day that we come. Do you know the day? And when you come, as I'm speaking, and when you come, pray, my boy, there is no amount of prayer that you can pray that we say, ah, ah, hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Oh. So, by this, we need to be having a self examination as a Christian. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Because of my time, the only thing that, okay, I've said that. I said the only thing that refuses barrier after man's death is his character. Because he remains in the memory of those who know him. Hallelujah. That character remains in the memory of those who know him. Our characters 
are in the memory of everybody that knows us let us do the self-examination and make adjustment if our character is not aligned with the word of god if it is not aligned with the principle of god this is time for us to go and sit ourselves down and do self-examination in order to adjust uh, to, to to adjust it and the holy spirit will help us in jesus name please don't deceive yourself if you are deceiving yourself you know that ah uh load -uh, monitor i mean don't deceive yourself you know yourself more better don't deceive yourself sit yourself down and do self-examination and the lord will help us in the mighty name of jesus talk to god this morning father i've heard about character father i received that enablement that grace to build a godly character that will help me in the journey of life that godly character that will help me in the journey of life so that in the end of my journey, I will receive ah, kabo or modolili, bossinu, ayobabare. Open your mouth and talk to God. Father, talk to God. In the mighty name talk to of God. Jesus.